Hello, and welcome to Earning Their Stripes. I'm Thomas Watson, a senior government and history major from Midlothian, Virginia. And today, I'm joined by Hunter Martin, a junior here on the golf team hailing from Gloucester and majoring in biochemistry. Hunter, you ready to earn your stripes? Yeah, let's do it. All right, to start things off for you, who is your favorite professional athlete? Uh, definitely Tiger Woods. Um, he's probably one of the most dominant figures in all, all sports. For him to hit the like lowest of lows and get the lowest, the highest of highs, it's crazy. And his win percentage on tour is like, it's like 22% for like events, and it's crazy if one guy wins once on tour, it's, yeah, it's a good golfer, but yeah, it's Tiger Woods, yeah, everybody knows Tiger Woods. Quite possibly the best yeah. to ever do it. Yeah, for sure. What about your favorite food? Soup. Yeah, it's probably why I'm so skinny, but um, any kind of soup. Uh, New England clam chowder is probably my favorite. Chicken noodle mm. soup, tomato. Love my own soup, so. They do some good yeah, soups. Yeah, they do some good soup, so kind of upset they don't have that, but. Uh, chicken dumpling. Yeah, that's I, a I good love one. chicken dumpling, yeah. What about your go-to TV show? Um, I don't really watch that much TV. Um, I got into Ozark for a while, it's a good show. Um, I like stuff like stupid humor, like Simpsons, um, Futurama, South Park, American Dad, and all, all the stuff like that, but I don't really watch that much TV. What are some of your motivations to work hard? Um, just to wake up every day knowing that I can be better than the previous day. Um, my parents raised me to be very appreciative um, of what I have one day, know that I wake up the next day it might be different. So just go at it with like a hard mindset every day. What about one of your proudest accomplishments? When I was 16 years old, I won my first junior club championship at Kingsmill. Um, I was two down with three to play. Um, and I went birdie on 16, hole on, on 17, and par on 18 to win by a shot, yeah. And since then, I've never been like afraid to lose, just because, I mean, anything can happen, you know? Call, text, or FaceTime? Probably FaceTime. I've had some funny interactions on FaceTime. You can just see like what your friends are doing. They can like physically describe stuff better. Or like if you're like homework, chatting with like other people, it's just easier, like Zoom, it's just easier yeah. to see stuff in front of you. What, what are some good words to describe yourself? Um, I like to be described as respectful, um, courteous, appreciative. Um, I like to say that I'm funny. Um, a good friend, just somebody that like everybody wants to be around. That's who I'd like to describe myself as, but everybody can take that as they may. But that's what I strive for every day. Nice. So uh, we, know, we know you're a biochem major, so you're part of the Gilmer gang. Yeah. Um, but what is your favorite subject in school? Um, I always like math. I was always really good with math. Um, I'd probably say I'm in ecology right now. Um, with Dr. Lowry, a uh, very interesting class, organisms and how interaction with life and stuff like that. I, I doubt that's what I'm going to do in my personal, professional life, but it's pretty fascinating stuff. When you're not out on the golf course, you know, where can we find you? What are some of your hobbies and interests? Um, I play like cornhole with my friends at school. Um, I'd probably say I golf all of my free time. Not necessarily practice, just going out with my friends and playing every once in a while. Um, but anything sport related, whether it be watching sports too, just... So if you could be anybody or do anything for a day, who would you be or what would you do? I'd probably be Derek Jeter in his prime. Um, I used to play a lot of baseball when I grew up um, and he was probably my biggest role model. It's like face of the franchise, face of New York, like classy guy. Oh yeah. So yeah, it'd be super cool to be Derek Jeter, somebody of like that caliber and phenomenal. He's not the best baseball player of all time, but a class act so on a scale of one to ten how funny would you rate yourself probably not that high um probably like a like a hard like six eight maybe okay my friends might think it's higher but I okay mean, so your yeah. friends might give you a yeah, little more I'll credit be a little harsh yeah yeah funny every once in a while nice yeah but do you have a favorite place here at hampton city um as funny as this sounds i like going to the moans a lot Subtle Hall, excuse me. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, that's where you see like all your buddies in between classes. You get to socialize, you get to take a break from grinding in class for like an hour and a half. Good conversations, good food every once in a while. So it's good to, yeah, it's good. You see a lot of faces. 
Yeah, so, I always run yeah. into I mean, run into people there, and yeah. half the time that's where I you know catch up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, what are you saying? So I'm gonna make you choose again: beach or mountains? Beach. Beach. No hesitation there. No, no. babes go to the beach, so yeah, definitely want to go to the beach. All right. So do you have a uh, you know favorite or most memorable book that you've read? Um, I read The Stand by Stephen King when I was a sophomore in high school. I ordered it for a book project. I thought it was 300 pages and it was 1,300. Ooh. Probably the best book I've ever read. Who knows you best? Probably John Ferguson. <laughs> um, we don't, we've only, this is the first time we're living together and I'm a junior and we didn't live together freshman or sophomore year. Um, but we won our very first college tournament. Um, we got into a playoff together and I ended up beating him and from that moment on he's probably been like my best friend since I got to school. So and I've gotten to know him really well and we know we, we, we both work hard in and out of the classroom. We have the same goals and stuff, so yeah, we get along really well. Alright, well that is the last question I had for you today. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Ben Hunter Martin and he's earned his stripes.